Welcome to Bounty and Soul's Plant Power Kitchen. My name is Lyric. I'm a local farmer and educator here today to shine some spotlight on No Evil Foods. No Evil Foods is a local company in Asheville that creates plant-based meats. We are super grateful here at Bounty and Soul to have an abundance of No Evil Food products donated to our no-cost markets very regularly. So I just want to take a moment to kind of like demystify what is plant-based meat, how do I cook it? Will my kids like it? Uh, lots of questions uh, that I'm sure you may have that are totally valid, especially if you've uh, primarily been eating animal meat. So I have three No Evil Food products here. Uh, to begin, all of their products contain gluten at this time. All of these products here, so if you do have a gluten intolerance, I would not recommend consuming these. But other than that, they are completely vegan. Um, and they're not made from like a soy protein, which a lot of other plant-based meats are. These are made from wheat and beans and lots of spices and goodness like that. So the first product I have here is their El Zapatista. This is a plant-based chorizo. Um, so it's like a little bit spicy. It has like all the kind of classic chorizo flavors in there. It's not crumbled already, as we'll see when I go to open it up. It's kind of in a sausage link. So we'll talk about, you know, how to crumble that. The next product I have is, this is their stallion. This is like an Italian sausage, a plant-based Italian sausage. Um, so you could use this as you would um, an Italian sausage. It's, it's also in a link form. It's not like a crumbled um, ground sausage. And lastly here I have, um, this is their Comrade Cluck. This is their uh, like no chicken, uh, plant-based chicken. And they also have a plant-based pulled pork and then they have a seasonal um, plant-based like kind of meat roast. Um, so we're going to talk about these three. So the first thing you do whenever you have like um, one of these links, be it the chorizo or the stallion, is you can see there's a plastic film that's bound on the end. And you want to make sure you take that off. That's not part of the product. Um, that's just the wrapping. So you want to make sure you take that completely off. I do that. I'll just clip, clip the tip off here. And then I can kind of open it up and either with my scissors or with my knife, just kind of cut a slit down and then I can just pull the plastic right off. And you'll notice, as I said, um, the product stays together really well. Um, so you can kind of, you know, choose how you're going to, how you're going to cut it. It's not like a ground meat where, you know, it's already crumbled. So I'll go ahead and open the stallion as well. And lastly, I'm gonna open my um, Comrade Cluck. This is the um, plant-based chicken. Um, so I'm just gonna cut into this. This is vacuum sealed. I'm just gonna cut into this with my scissors, just cut a tab off and then see when I just get a piece and I can just pull it on open. I might use my scissors a little bit more but you just wanna get all of the plastic packaging off. And then this is what the product looks like when you unwrap it. It's a little interesting, right? It kinda of has a, a funky texture, um, but it's gonna be super delicious once we learn how to cook it. So when you're thinking through how to cook your plant-based meat, you can remember it's really convenient that you don't have to worry about cooking it all the way through or cooking, cooking it for a certain amount of time to kill bacteria like you would a raw animal meat because it's just plants and it's already considered cooked. So you can cut it any way you want based on the recipe that you're going off of. So I would recommend the uh, stallion Italian sausage. You could cut it into moons or half moons, circles or half circles, as you would a, an animal-based sausage and kind of fry it up in the pan with a little bit of oil to get it nice and browned. That's a great way to um, enjoy the stallion. For the chorizo, uh, Typically, a, a meat-based chorizo will be kind of in a ground crumble often, and so you're welcome to do that with this. Um, you'll see if you just cut it into moons, it'll hold its shape fairly well, um, but you can also get in there with your hands or a fork, and you can rip a piece off of it. This is my plant-based chorizo, and you can just crumble it 
with your hands. See, I'm just ripping off pieces. You can see it has a lot of texture. It's really sticking together. And so then you could create a crumble that way and then add that to something in your crock pot or again, kind of fry it up on the stove in a pan. Or you could cut it into circles, as I said. So that's the chorizo. For the plant-based chicken, um, the, you, this is not necessarily meant to be cooked as a whole big chunk. Um, I would recommend slicing it into thin slices like you would, you would slice like a chicken breast. Um, make it into kind of more bite-sized strips or pieces. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that. And you'll notice it'll kind of crumble on its own a bit. And that's fine, it's just creating bite-sized pieces for me. And so that's a great way to enjoy the plant-based chicken. So now that you've decided how you're going to chop your plant-based meat to go into your recipe, you can just substitute this like one-to-one -one for an animal-based protein that you would have used in your recipe. Uh, the only exception and something to keep in mind for this is that again, you don't need to cook this plant-based meat as long as you would need to cook meat. So if I have a recipe for a roasted chicken breast um, that I put in the oven for an hour, um, this doesn't need to do that. And you may find that you could lose um, some of the moisture or some of the texture if you overcook it for that long. So really just focus on cooking this plant-based meat until it's warm. So you can add it in at the end after you've cooked all of your vegetables in your pan or in your crock pot and you can just throw this in at the end it makes it a really quick and convenient way to get some protein into the meal and i'm gonna go ahead and saute up um, the comrade cluck the plant-based chicken with a little bit of onion and garlic so you can really see what that's going to look like after it's cooked and then that would be a great addition to something like tacos um, to a rice dish, to a soup, any of these are great options. So I'll check back in with you after I've cooked my chicken. So here is my sauteed comrade cluck. You can see that it did not change in color or texture very much. So if you're used to cooking animal-based meat, um, sometimes you wait for the color or the texture to change, but that ne doesn't necessarily happen with the plant-based protein, so you don't need to wait for that. I did saute it enough to get some brown spots that adds a little crispiness and a little texture to the dish and that's fine. Um, but overall, it looks about the same and it's just heated through and it's been infused with some of those flavors of onion and garlic. So I hope this video helped to demystify plant-based meats for you, help you feel more comfortable and confident cooking them for yourself and your family. I will also mention that I've heard many testimonials at our Bounty and Soul markets of folks who were fed a meal with no evil foods, plant-based meat in it, and they couldn't even tell the difference. Uh, they, they didn't even notice that it wasn't animal meat. So I encourage you to try this as a substitution in your favorite recipes. Um, it's a great way to have a more humane option than some meats out there, and you could win over some of the pickiest meat eaters. Um, even if they tried other plant-based proteins um, and aren't a big fan, this could be a really good um, solution for them. So I'll be posting some recipes on the Bounty and Soul website. There are also recipes on the No Evil Foods website um, for all of their different products. I would love to hear maybe in the comments if you have a favorite recipe that you use No Evil Foods in, and I look forward to cooking with you soon.